Hello there. Right, let's have a look at the messages for today. Let's see, they want me to channel straight from my weird hand. <laughs> okay. Let me just see if I can do this here without the... There's an opportunity that's opening up here. <clears throat> but it's up to you whether or not you choose to see it or not. Because it's a divine portal, divine opportunity for you that is yours for the taking, is what I'm hearing. Sorry about this hand. <laughs> I do have control over it, I'm just channeling. Uh, for, for some reason, it's easier for me to tap into. So, I'm doing this, I look like a strange human being, but I mean, I'm used to that now. So, um. Wow, this is soul family. This is soul family energy. The choice is yours. The choice is going to be yours. What opportunity you take. <clears throat> but there is a big opportunity. They're saying love the self. Coming into an alignment is really important as well. And managing how you're doing that is also important. Managing how you do it. Understanding the self, managing how you understand the self. Someone is, again, there's a collective being caged in fear. And because of that, they're not seeing these opportunities come to them, is how I want to say it. There's a really strong sense of peace as well that I want <clears throat> to send. Because it, it whatever's being held onto here, it doesn't you don't need to hold on to it. Is what I want to say. You don't you don't need to hold on to this. It's it, it just is. Um and it will become more and more obvious, but what you do need to understand is <clears throat> How the part again? It's it's a repeat of the yesterday's energy. It's like how, the part you're playing in this, of where you want your path to be, of understanding the self and what that comes with. The true understanding of the self, what that truly means. Okay, we've got some other energies coming in here. The divine self or the divine essence is something that can't be tangibly monitored either. It can be presented in different forms. And so holding on to anything at any one time is not useful for anybody. doesn't matter what is being presented. It's not useful. In fact, it's easier to be affecting change when you are holding on to something tighter is what I'm hearing. That's actually very true. Um, so I'm just giving my opinion on, alongside this now. Um, release the, the tight grip because that will help you it will make you feel more comfortable around things and it won't feel so burdensome when things aren't exactly as you imagined them to be because again you're in this flow energy this is really accurate I've got a really beautiful feminine energy here that's I wish I could draw this feminine. She's stunning. Yeah, it's it's literally like coming into an alignment of the self beyond all, past all odds, beyond all means is how I want to say it. Okay, let's get, um, what cards am I getting here? Right, what else, please? <laughs> Can't make it up. You, I mean, it's exactly what I've just said. 
everything is indeed out of control and God will hold it all. Just let it go. And signs in the reverse. Someone is not seeing the signs. Just, again, you have been worthy to belong to love all along without any need to improve. In fact, you are love itself. This is... Yeah. Dear love, open me to your will. Release me from attachment. Surprise and delight me with your plan. You know what's needed and I'm open to receive. So this is about attachment. Flow. Yeah, this is, again, it's exactly what has just been said. Allow me, divine, to move with the flow and respond with calmness and peace. Totally accurate. Okay, that's... divine essence it's, it's about contacting and, and being in, in touch with the divine essence which is neither is it doesn't have form right so it's asking you to with any problems to observe it in that way if that makes any sense so you're not holding on to it you're It's very interesting the way they're putting this to me. It's like release all forms of what you have established. It's like a, a brain composite is being re recalibrated. It's like how people are perceiving things is being broken down. And it needs to be broken down is what I'm, he I'm hearing. How you're viewing situations needs to be broken down. Because it won't serve. It doesn't serve the purpose. So possession control it serves as possession and control of the self which is then reflected back right it's is where you'll feel out of control where you feel like you you're in a lack so again <clears throat> to recalibrate that would be to understand how that works you know i don't know why i'm touching my nose like that but i felt like i needed to <laughs> pop I don't know why I did that. I don't know why. Someone did that. Someone's relatives did that to them. Beep. Pop. Something like that. Because I just wanted to do it. And I don't know. That's a message for somebody. I feel like I want to do this as well. I don't know why. I want to. It's like I want to. Release the grip. Release the grip. <clears throat> Doesn't need to be held onto that tightly. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. And this is the thing, right? <clears throat> so this is, they're, they're stopped talking now and they're trying to explain in feeling how, what the message is, which is interesting because there's no words to, under, to describe it. So now they're asking me to use my words to do that. <clears throat> so imagine you 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 view uh i don't know your favorite food right and you're like oh that taste of that i don't know that chili is great or that chicken all that you know that vegan kind of spice is really lovely and then you go to taste it again and it's not quite the same flavor and you're like because again our taste buds change isn't it right because we evolve it's that preconceived notion of what should be and how it should be in form and how it should be made and how it should appear and how it should taste and be structured, which is needing to be totally removed. And that is in every form. How you earn money, how you view people, how you view your relationships, how you view what you do. Everything has to be restructured because the tangible is not so tangible anymore. And that's in order to get through this next stage, this message is going to be needing to be understood because the form of a relationship has to evolve. You as a being has to evolve. And so what's happening here is, is that people are, are being moved through an evolution. And everyone's like, oh, I'm not letting it go. I just got it. Like holding on for dear life. No. Because it's it's an illusion, right? Because it, it ha they again, it's this firm foundation that 
it, it feels like it should look a certain way and be a certain way, the reason why it doesn't feel so great is because you're not used to this energy. And it's asking you to move out of that because it's needed, it's necessary, right? It's not meant to be so rigid. The form is not meant, like it's my words. There's no, there's no tangible energy behind something of this nature because it hasn't got form, right? It's a, it's a fluid energy. So words will just define it and cage it and label it, which is not the, ca that's not the point. Spirit aren't trying to label things or keep things in a, in a stuck energy. There's, there's got to be a fluidity to it, right? And that's what spirit is asking you to understand is don't be so rigid and set in motion to certain things because it won't help is how I'm hearing it. It won't help. Um, very true, actually, spirit. I'm totally following along with this message. I completely relate to it. The more you're able to adapt to that and and release the expectation, the easier this whole next phase will be is what they're saying. Um, the comfort zones are being rewritten and removed is what I'm hearing here. OK, and it's again, how how much do you want? Like, what kind of blessings do you want? Do you want just the ordinary or the extraordinary? Because for extraordinary blessings, you've got to go out of a comfort zone a little bit here. And if you feel like, that's all I've done, mate. Like, for years, that's all I've done. <laughs> yeah, welcome to, <laughs> welcome to the world of spirit. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, look. Because that's where the inner power is, right? To understand that notion is where the inner power is. And it, it's also allowing... Yeah. It's to connect with your essence. Okay, this is to connect truly to connect to your essence. Um, and again, it's about a deeper awakening. So there's a deeper awakening that is about to take place, which is what this is about. So people are being quantum propelled into even further elevations because it's needed. It's needed for where this next phase is, is going. Um, the stakes are higher because of what is being presented. So if you're like, this is a joke, mate. Like, why is all this stuff presenting in a certain way? This person's done that to me. That's happening here. My job, my pay, energy prices, global warming, this, that, the other, this, that, the other. Treadmill of the same monotony, right? Because you're needing to, to level up as well. You're needing to rise above that. And if you can't see that, this message is going to need to be acknowledged because it, it, there's something in this for you. Show me anything else in relation to this particular message, please. Anything else for this particular? And have quick care, care and compassion. Care and compassion. Quan Yin. Choose to be love. Do what is right for everyone involved. Offer a helping hand. So if you can't, you know that people can't see this. Lead by example, be the, the care, be the light, be the one that is in this energy. Because if not, someone else, I mean, we have to, right? Otherwise, we... and psychic insight, your third eye is open. See truth for what it is. Follow your intuition and devotion, devotion to the self. There's a lack of forgiveness here as well. There's a lack of forgiveness, like... Someone is in that kind of fluid energy and someone else is judging them for that. And it's it's not helping the connection. It's not helping the connection, you know, um, because the judgment is making them feel uncomfortable. And therefore it's it's, you know, it's causing that rigid energy and therefore a block. All right, guys, best of luck. That was your message for today. Take care.